Hello students, welcome again to my educational channel. My name is Dr. Arvind Mittal and my aim is to teach chemistry's concept in a simplified manner so that students can develop passion about the subject. Today we shall discuss about the balancing of a chemical equation. In your books and elsewhere, balancing of a chemical equation is taught as a trial and error method, except redox reactions, where a systematic approach is described. This trial and error method discourages many students who are in their early stage of learning chemistry. Many students leave a chemical equation unbalanced as they find it to balance a chemical equation quite cumbersome. Equation like this, it is quite cumbersome to balance it by trial and error method. For equations having one or two reactants and products, trial and error method works well. However, as the number of reactants and products increase, or as the compounds become multi-atomic, trial and error approach becomes quite frustrating and time consuming. Moreover, balancing of one element often leads to unbalancing of other elements. Algebraic approach are the answers to these problems. Algebraic equations are not only easy to understand, but also provide confidence to user to deal with large equations and multi-atomic compounds. There are two types of algebraic operations. Number one, it requires simple substitution of values and are much simpler to perform. In second type, parallel equations are required to be solved. The second type is little bit more time consuming and we shall take up these separately. In the end, if you like the methodology, then appreciate the video and subscribe my channel. So, a student, come and see how algebraic approach to balance a chemical equation works. Suppose we have this equation. Arsenic trioxide reacts with stannous chloride in presence of hydrochloric acid to produce stannic chloride, elemental arsenic, and water. Now, my aim is to balance this equation so that number of atom of each element on left hand side becomes equal to number of atoms of that particular atom on right hand side. So I have seen that there are coefficients like one, two, three, four before these compounds. So in an, in an algebraic approach, I can write, I don't know what are these, what are those coefficients. So I shall write either A, B, C, D or X, Y, Z as you like. So I shall write A before arsenic trioxide. Then B 
before stannous chloride. C before hydrochloric acid. A small d before stannic chloride. E before ar elemental arsenic. And F before water. Law of conservation of mass states that number of atom on left hand side should be equal to number of atoms on right hand side. Right? And what is the minimum value of a coefficient? What can be the minimum value? The minimum value can be 1, right? So the minimum value of either A, B, C, D, E, F, it can be 1. So what I will do, first of all, I will make a list of elements participating in a reaction. So number one is arsenic, number two oxygen, number three tin, then chlorine, then hydrogen. Initially, you will feel that this methodology is cumbersome. But as you will practice, you will find and appreciate that this is a quite straightforward method. And it is very easy to perform. Now, thereafter, after making a list of elements, in the reaction, I will start establishing my equations. Now, let's see how to make these equations. In arsenic trioxide, we have two atoms of arsenic and a coefficient A. Okay, so in arsenic trioxide, I can write two A, number of atoms multiplied by coefficient. Then I will sell, I, I will see I will check in which compounds my arsenic is present. So on left hand side, there is no compound where arsenic is there. So I have come to this point arrow that is equal to. So now I will write equal to. Again, I will see where arsenic is present. It is present here. So I can write E multiplied by 1. This is 1. So one equation I have got that is 2A is equal to E for arsenic. Now again for oxygen. I have three atoms of oxygen here. So I shall write 3A Then again check where oxygen is present, nowhere it is present except in arsenic trioxide. Then come to left hand, uh, right hand side equation. So it is present in water. Right. 
f. 3a is equal to f. Tin. Single atom of tin is present in stannous chloride. So I can write B is equal to D. This is my third equation. Chlorine. I have two chlorine atom in stannous chloride. So I will write 2B. Then come to hydrochloric acid. One atom of chlorine is present in HCl or hydrochloric acid plus C is equal to four atoms of chlorine are present in stannic chloride. So I will write 4D. Likewise, for hydrogen, I can write C is equal to 2F. Now, as we have discussed, that the minimum value of any coefficient can be 1. So, arbitrarily, I shall assign 1 to any of these coefficients, either A, B, C, D, E, and F. And the principle of stoichiometry direct us or they state that all the compounds shall react in proportion to a particular molar fraction. So, when I will assign a value to any of the coefficient, all the respective values shall be adjusted according to that coefficient. So, let A is equal to 1. I have assigned A is equal to 1. So, I have got one of the coefficient. Then this equation says that 2A is equal to E. Therefore, E becomes 2. Come to oxygen atom. 3A is equal to F. Therefore, F becomes 3. When F becomes 3, therefore C becomes 2 into 3 into 6 is equal to 6. Value of F is equal to 6. Now come to this equation 2b is equal to 2b plus c is equal to 4d. Equation above this equation it states that b is equal to d. Therefore, here I can write 4b instead of 4d. Okay. Therefore, 2b 
plus C is equal to 4B. Cancel हो जाएगा B से B and you will get C is equal to 2B. But the value of C is 6. Therefore, therefore, six is equal to two B. Therefore, B is equal to three. Correct. Now, when B is equal to three, and this statement says that B is equal to D, therefore D become 3. Now I have got the value of all the coefficient A, B, C, D, E, and F. Now, what I will do now, again write this equation. A S two O three plus stannous chloride plus HCl, it will form a stannic chloride plus elemental arsenic plus water. Now replace the value of coefficients in their before their respective compounds. So A put the value of A is equal to 1. B B is 3. C the value of C is 6. 6. D, D is equal to 3. E, the value of E is 2. And F, value of F is 3. Now let us check if we are able to balance our equation. Again, what will we do? Again, make a list of elements. Arsenic, oxygen, tin, chlorine and hydrogen. Okay. This left hand side and here right hand side. Okay. Start counting first element arsenic 2 oxygen 3 tin 3 atoms chlorine 
थ्री मल्टीप्लाइड बाई टू सिक्स एंड सिक्स क्लोरीन हेयर ट्वेल्व हाइड्रोजन सिक्स देन कम टू राइट हैंड साइड वी हैव टू एटम्स ऑफ आर्सेनिक हेयर टू ऑक्सीजन थ्री टेन आई हैव थ्री एटम्स हेयर क्लोरीन थ्री मल्टीप्लाइड बाई फोर ट्वेल्व एटम्स ऑफ क्लोरीन एंड हाइड्रोजन थ्री मल्टीप्लाइड बाई टू दैट इज सिक्स आई होप दैट यू हैव गॉट माई पॉइंट दैट बाई एडॉप्टिंग एल्जेब्रिक एप्रोच you can balance a chemical equation with confidence without making an error now take another example another example is potassium per magnet reacts with potassium hydroxide to form potassium magnet oxygen is liberated and water is formed so again we shall adopt the same approach to balance this equation now we shall do it more quickly so i am putting putting up the coefficients a b c d and e Hmm. Then we'll make a list of elements: potassium, magnesium, oxygen, and hydrogen. then i shall start constructing my algebraic equation one potassium in potassium per magnet a one in potassium hydroxide plus b two in potassium magnet to c magnesium a is equal to c oxygen four in potassium per magnet 4a one oxygen atom in potassium hydroxide b plus b is equal to four atoms in potassium magnet 4c two oxygen atom in oxygen molecular oxygen plus 2d plus one oxygen atom in water molecule e then hydrogen b is equal to 
टू ई क्लियर नाउ लेट ए इज इक्वल टू वन therefore c is equal to 1 if a is 1 then c is 1 now i can calculate the value of b from here let's see One plus b is equal to two. Therefore, b is equal to one. If b is equal to one, then value of e. One is equal to two e. Therefore, e is equal to one by two. Now I can put all the values here. and can calculate the value of b so four plus b is equal to 1 is equal to c is 1 Four plus two d plus value of e is half. Four se four cancel ho jayega. Hmm. Two d is equal to One minus half is equal to half. Therefore, d is equal to one by four. now again i will write my equation and equation is kmno4 plus koh is equal to k2 mno4 plus oxygen plus water mm -hmm. and what shall be our next step write down the values of coefficient a is equal to 1 1 1 b is equal to 1 C is also one. D is one by four. And E is one by two. Now multiply it. 
by a number so that these fractions become whole number so i can multiply it the whole equation by 4 so again write it down KMNO4 plus KOH is equal to K2 MNO4 plus oxygen plus water. Multiply the whole equation by 4. So this becomes 4, 4, 4, 4 will be cancelled here, only the oxygen molecule and 2 water molecule. Hmm? Now again, make a list to check whether the equation is balanced or not. So, potassium, magnesium, oxygen, and hydrogen. This is left hand side, and this is right and side. Count the atoms. 4 potassium plus 4 potassium. 8. Magnesium 4 atoms. Oxygen 4 into 4 16 plus 4 20 and hydrogen 4 atoms come to right hand side potassium 4 into 2 8 manganese 4 Oxygen 4 into 4, 16 plus 2, 18 plus 2, 20. Oxygen atoms they are also balanced. And hydrogen 2 into 2, 4. You can note it down. So children, I hope that you are able to comprehend this algebraic approach, which is quite simple and straightforward. And it leaves no chances of doubt. In the second lecture, we shall discuss how to make parallel equations and solve them. This requires a little bit more effort, but I hope with your background of mathematics, you will be able to comprehend it very quickly. Okay. तो चलिए मिलते हैं फिर एक नए लेक्चर में